Hello and welcome back to another Critical Role Miniature Painting tutorial. I'm Mike with Bullforge Miniature Painting, and today we'll be looking at Caduceus Clay from the Mighty Nine. Before I begin, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It helps small creators like myself get their name out there, so I would greatly appreciate it. Here are the paints that I'm using, which I chose based off of the official art for Caduceus, which I use as a reference for when I'm painting this mini. After washing the mini with warm soapy water, I'll prime the mini. Zenithal priming like I'm doing here isn't necessary, but it helps us determine where our highlights and shadows will go. Once the primer has dried, I'll begin sketching out where I want the colors to be. The green that I'm using here is far too lime green for Cad's armor, but we'll fix that later. You can see on my wet palette that I'm mixing my dark green with my lime green to make a color gradation. With some of the darker color on this gradation, I'll paint in the darker areas of the armor. I'm ignoring the lichen that is sculpted into the armor, boots, and staff for now and just painting over them. Once I'm done sketching out the armor, I'll start painting his pants with a mix of dark green and sotet green in about a 1 to 1 ratio. I'm keeping my paint fairly thin and letting the zenithal primer show through. Next, I'll base coat the boots, belt, and staff with Mornfang Brown. With some Pallid Witch Flesh, I'll paint a sleeve. Once that's done, I'll paint the shield using the same method that we used for the armor. For Caduceus's face, I'm using a 1 to 1 mix of black and pallid witch flesh for the base. I'll increase the amount of the pallid witch flesh in the mix to add highlights to the cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin. For his eyes, I'll paint the recesses with a mix of black and pink about 4 to 1. 
We want this to be very dark, but not completely black. For the eyeball itself, we'll use a 4 to 1 mix of white to pink. Since we have a lot of white ink from our Zenithal Priming on Cat's hair, we'll take advantage of it by using a very loose mix of pink and water. It'll essentially highlight itself. Using a piece of scrap foam, I'll dab on some white and pink for the lichen on the armor, boots, shield, and staff. You can also use an old brush for this technique, but I wouldn't recommend using a good brush as you could rear the tip. Now I'm going around adding small highlights and shadows. At this point you can spend hours tuning up the model, but since this is a speed painting I didn't spend too long here. To fix the color in Caduceus' armor and shield, we'll use a technique called glazing. It's pretty similar to how we handled his hair. I'll take a super loose mixture of Sotec green and water to an ink consistency. Then I'll dry most of the mix off of my brush onto a paper towel and tint the armor. Once that's done, I added a few more touch-ups on the face.
With some blue tone, I shaded the flowy sleeve on the right arm and lightly dry brushed it with Pallid Witch Flash. With soft tone, I dampened the highlights on all of the leather. At this point, Caduceus is done. You can base him however you want, I just decided to leave the base black. Off camera, I sealed him up using matte varnish with my airbrush. Since his armor is quite shiny however, I'll paint on some gloss sealer on the metal bits. Now he's ready for the table. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my channel, it truly helps me get my name out there. Also be sure to follow me on my social media list on the screen here. A big thank you goes out to my patrons, Lenore, Andy, Samantha, Hugh, and Mark. Your support is what keeps me going. And as always, take care and happy painting.